Today we're gonna to be giving you guys my opinion. It's all my opinion base and my worker's opinion on what is the best machine polisher in the game that we think, our opinion. Remember, everyone's gonna have a different opinion. We've both, uh, or we've all been doing this for quite some time. We do it every single day. So we're gonna show you guys the machines working. We're gonna show you what machines we use, what machines we like the best. But the guys are gonna get started prepping this thing. The soap we're gonna be using because it's a little dirty is CarPro Lift. It's a high alkaline, I think is what they call it. It's just a really strong free soap foam. So we're using this in the MTM foam cannon, really good foam cannon. And we're also gonna be using it in the wash bucket with our wash mitts. So they're gonna get started prepping this thing. And once it gets ready for paint correction, we're gonna talk about what machines we're using for what job and why we use them here in this shop. So stay tuned. So now that the truck is cleaned and prepped and clay barred and iron deconed and dried off, we just dried it off with the blow machine, eight horsepower BLO is what it's called. That's the brand, really good machine. Blowed out, blowed out all the crevices, like the emblems, the door jams, the headlights, everything like that. Because when we're polishing the truck, we're gonna be vibrating those panels and we don't want the water coming down from like say a door handle or a mirror. We wanna blow all that out with the heated uh, filtered air from that blow machine. And um, so that when we're paint correcting, water doesn't sling everywhere. It's completely dry. But while they are IPA, they're gonna IPA wipe the truck now, which is isopropyl alcohol, get any oils from the soap off the paint so that we know we're not filling in any scratches before we do our first inspection and test panel. So the IPA we use is Meguiar Surface Prep and it's right over here. This is the product we use and we always do an IPA wipe down prior to any paint correction so that we can get a, a, a good solid inspection of the paint, a good solid test section and we know exactly what we're working with. We know there's no contaminants or fil filaments on the paint surface while we correct the paint. But let's talk about the machines. We'll start right to left and kind of work our way down, starting with the Big Daddy, the rotary, the DeWalt seven inch rotary. We only really use this on boats. We only use it on automobiles whenever we are wet sanding something or we have really, really deep defects that we wanna make quick work of. So we use the rotary with a wool pad the wool pad kind of like looks like something like this down here. The wool pad, that 3M wool pad is what we'll use. And these are kind of rotary pads too. More rotary pads, polishing pads. There's some wool pads right there that we use sometimes. But these are pads that we use with our three inch machines, our two inch machines we're gonna talk about. More two inch. Uh, these are Eurofiber pads. These are Oberk microfiber cutting pads, Meguiar's microfiber cutting pads, Lake Country HDO blue foam pads. Those are Rupes wool pads, good pads, Lake Country HDO orange pads, Rupes yellow foam pads, finishing pads, polishing pads, whatever you want to call them. More three inch, kind of like these Oberk cutting pads. These are blue Rupes wool pads, cutting pads, really good pads. This is the two inch version of those. And that's not half of it. You kind of can hear my knee pop, my knee is messed up. Sounds crazy, but it is what it is. That's what the army will do to you. But uh, we have a lot of different compounds and polishes in this cabinet. Really any compound and polish you can think of. Extra pads, we got more pads up there. We got every pad and compound combination you could possibly want. We got these drawers to kind of clean everything up. 
Not everything's so crazy. But the next machine is a good machine. It's battery powered. You guys may say, well, it's battery powered. Why would you ever want that? You're gonna have to charge the battery. Well, not really, because it comes with two batteries. They both have about 35 minute working time. So by the time one battery is dead, the next battery is fully charged. And it kind of is a never ending process. So you never run out of battery power. So that's a good thing about these machines. Great polishing machine, doesn't have the greatest correction ability but it is a very, very handy machine we use every single day. It's a XCE8 polishing machine. It's a forced rotation. It's a good polisher, has a pretty good ability to correct, but not as good as say the Rotary or the 3401G, which we'll talk about next. It's a corded polisher. It's one of the best in the industry. It's profound, it's known. Um, it's known in the detailing industry as one of the best machines. Again, it's a Flex 3401G. You can kind of see, or maybe I'm saying that wrong. It's a 3401 VRG, not a G, it's a VRG. That's the model number. Great machine, five inch backing plate. We kind of cut it down a little bit because the way it comes is crazy. It's like, it's bigger than all the pads from Lake Country and Rupes, so we had to cut it down, kind of edge it down a little bit so that it doesn't hit the paint ever. Now the pad is, is longer than the surface backing plate, which is good. You can see it's very well made. It's very well balanced. It's a great ergonomic machine, very high quality. It's not my favorite though. I'll tell you at the end which one's my favorite. It's not my favorite, but it's a great machine, especially when it comes to correcting the paint. Uh, when it comes to finishing the paint, yeah, it's, it's good. It's great. It's a great machine, but correcting paint, I think is where this one really shines. And that's the Flex 3401. Definitely, definitely a trailblazer in the industry and is very, very well known. The next machine is the Rupes LHR 15. It's a 15 millimeter throw. That's what that stands for. It's a five inch backing plate. It's got the washer mod, which all that is, is make sure the backing plate doesn't stall. It costs like three bucks. You can do it with a regular washer for free that you have laying around your garage. But you just take that Allen bolt out, you put the washer in there, which separates the pad a little bit or the backing plate a little bit from the machine. That makes it to where it doesn't stall. Without the without the washer mod, the machine is it's a good machine, but it's it's almost pointless. I'll be honest with you guys. Like, yeah, you can get a good amount of work done. It just takes a lot longer without that washer mod. With the washer mod, it'll keep that pad spinning, even when the panel's not perfectly straight and flat. It'll keep the panel spinning. Richie will tell you. What about that washer mod, Richie? Best thing to ever happen. <laughs> Best thing to ever happen. He says. He, he loves that, that Rupes machine, and that washer mod is a must. Without that washer mod, if you were to go up to this safe fender and you were to get to where this fender isn't, you see how this fender kind of curves out? The Rupes would kind of stall out, and that's what a lot of people, when they talk trash about the Rupes, a lot of times it's because, oh, you got to get a washer mod. Why do I need to modify a machine? It should come ready. Yeah, I got it. I agree. But Rupes does everything for a reason. They're a profound company. They're an excellent company. Uh, we love their machines. They do everything for a reason. I don't know why they do it. All I know is with a washer mod, I'll go ahead and say that that's my favorite machine. This is my favorite machine out of all of these. I know I was going to wait till the end, but um, all the paint corrections we've done in the shop, this is my go-to for all the paint corrections. And that's the LHR 15 from Rupes. Yeah, it needs a washer mod, but costs three or four bucks, takes two or two or three seconds to put on, and it's just a golden machine. It's an excellent machine. I don't really like, you can notice, we don't have any six inch backing plates. We don't run any six inch backing plates at the shop, and that is because we have found the five inch is good for, it's pretty much universal. You can kind of use it on each panel on the vehicle until you get down into your three inch machines or your two inch machines or your one inch machines then it's a little bit different of a story, but five inch machine backing plate is what we have found to be the best in the shop. Moving down the list, this is my favorite three inch machine. I'll just go ahead and say it. I love the EX or the PXE80, excellent machine. I love all these machines, but if I had to pick my favorite five inch, it'd be the Rupes and my favorite three inch would be the Bigfoot Mini. This thing is so well balanced. It's light, it's extremely well balanced. It's just an excellent, excellent machine. You guys hopefully will see it work a little bit here later on, but it just when you're holding it in your hands and you're polishing a panel, it just feels so good to hold. And it just, when you use a crappy machine and they use something like this, you, you, you get why they're more expensive. They're, they're a little bit better built. I feel like this is the on and off switch right here, which I don't really like the best, but hey, it is what it is. But 
Um, the speed control is down here at the bottom, which I also don't like the positioning the best, but overall functionality is my favorite three inch machine by far. And it's a Rupez, I'll get you the model number on this thing. It's an LHR 75E is the model number on this machine. Next, we'll move down the list. We'll talk about the PXE 80, same situation with the battery powered brushless system. Excellent, excellent system. You kind of turn it on like this, and then you can bump the power up. Kind of flip it off that way. You can kind of see, even as a small machine, it's still got a lot of kick to it. It still has correction ability, still has polishing ability, an excellent machine. Same concept with the battery. By the time this one dies, the other one's fully charged. We got it on the charger station over there on the Milwaukee toolbox. And it's an excellent machine. You can actually quickly change this to a one inch machine by just pulling up, pull up on this machine. And there's a one inch backing plate in that bag right there that we can use as a one inch rotary. And it'll spin and get really tight surfaces. Couldn't recommend this one more. I would say if you're looking for a straight up three inch that has one inch capability, kind of universal and definitely battery powered, I would go with this machine over that one. It's that close of a race for me, but if you're a shop setting and you have power, man, I, I think I would lean towards the Bigfoot there. But it's, it's very, very, very close. This is an excellent machine and we use it every single day just as much as we use that one. I'm just saying if I have a, say I have um, a panel that is bigger than piano finish. So like if I have piano finish, that I'm gonna correct, kind of like on the Suburban there or the F-250 here. If I just need to touch up some piano finish and I don't wanna drag out a machine, I'm probably gonna grab the PXE 80 uh, flex machine. I'm probably not gonna grab the corded machine because I'm just telling myself, hey, I'm just gonna be out here for five minutes. I don't need to grab and plug up this machine. So even I will use a lot of times the PXE 80, especially on a, just a quick little touch up. Boom, this is perfect. Moving down to our two inch machine. This is a Rupez, I'll get you the model number. I call this the Bigfoot Polisher, I believe is what they refer to, yeah, the Bigfoot Nano Hybrid. A lot of people call it just the hybrid right there. It is an HR81ML DA Polisher. You can kind of see, kind of set the, the setting here. Kind of turn on. Kind of see how that thing works. It has a lot of power. A lot of people put tape around this uh, edge here so they don't nick, say like I'm polishing a headlight. Like maybe I'll nick that fender if I'm not paying attention. So a lot of people will take that. Um, excellent machine, barely any correcting ability. It has correcting ability. I shouldn't say barely, but not as much correction ability obviously as a three inch machine or say a five inch machine. So say I was to do um, a little bit of uh, details around this mirror then absolutely I could use that two inch machine or say I am trying to be careful, obviously, uh, and stick that hybrid down into that panel. I could do that with that two inch machine. And there's not a ton on this Suburban, a ton of panels that would be used for that two inch machine, but on sports cars, especially like Corvettes or Vipers that we do. And when the front end is very intricate and the aerodynamics are crazy, a lot of times we'll use that two inch machine to touch up an area or polish an area that we can't fit a big machine inside of. So it's an excellent machine. Um, if I was gonna buy, if I was starting out and I was to say, hey, I've, you know, I have no machines right now, what machine would I get first? I'll put them in order of precedence if you're doing kind of what we're doing. We're paint correcting, ceramic coating, you know, paint protection film, that kind of work as a shop. I would, if I was just starting out, I would pick up the LHR 15 first corded. My next machine I would probably get, honestly, would be, I would probably get this one next. I'd probably get the PXE 80 because of how versatile it is. And then I would probably move to, uh, this one's a hard one, this one gets kind of hard, but I'd probably have to say that the Hybrid Nano, actually no, because you can use the one inch on that. So you could save your money and wait on the Hybrid Nano and you can probably get, since you already got a DA polisher, you've already got a DA three inch, I would probably say, ah oh man, I'd probably say a rotary or the 3401. It's kind of close, it depends on what you're doing. Are you doing more boats? Are you doing more wet sanding? Then probably the rotary. If you're doing more corrections than anything, I'd get the 3401. More correction ability, I believe, but dang, it's, it's pretty close to this one, so it really just depends.
Are you having two guys work with you? If you have two guys in your shop, then it's a no-brainer. Get the 3401 and the LHR 15. You want those to work in tandem, especially if you've got two guys correcting a vehicle in a shop setting. But if you're by yourself, it's kind of a toss-up between the rotary and the 3401. And then kind of just for um, convenience at this point, say you've got the machines you want, and it's just all about convenience at this point, I would pick up the XCE8 next because it's very convenient to do a touch-up spot or do a full correction. You can do a full correction with this machine. It's a great machine, very powerful. I'll kind of show you. You can adjust the setting here. Very, very powerful machine still, but it's not the first one I'm going to if I'm doing a correction, it's the Rupes. But if it's straight convenience, uh, at this point you've got all the machines you want, I'd definitely pick up this machine. It's an excellent machine, and I would definitely pick up the hybrid. It's an excellent machine as well. And if you don't have the, you know, rotary at this point, definitely pick up the rotary as well. But those are the order of, order of purchases I would make personally. Let's jump back over to the truck. And you can see Nick is over here masking things off. Let's ask Nick, Nick, what is your favorite machine over there to use? If you're gonna correct this truck, which the, what is the first machine you're touching? Um, I hate to admit it, but it's probably the Rupes. Probably the Rupes? Yeah, I was the against LHR it at first, but now the corrections are always on point with it. Oh yeah, it's, it's an excellent machine. What about you, Richie? Well, you can see him grabbing machines right now. What do, which ones you grabbing, Richie? Uh, this is my favorite, this is my baby. This is my this baby. The, baby. the Rupes is your baby? A lot of people will go back and forth, you know, they'll say, oh, Flex is the best, Rupes is the best. They're both excellent. It's like saying Chevy or Dodge or, or Ford is the best. It really just comes down to personal preference. I would say all of us are on the same page when it comes to that Rupes, though. The Rupes is excellent, but then again, that Flex is not far behind it. What do you think, uh, Nick? You typically use the Flex all the time. The it ain't far behind it, is it? No, it feels better to me anyway. It just, the other one you can go a little bit faster, but the flex definitely feels better to use. Nice, nice. Well, that's kind of our, our go-to. You can kind of see our go-to correction polish and microfiber pads. The video's not about that, but our go-to correction uh, compound is Minzerna 400 Ultra Cut with an Oberk cutting pad. We're gonna do a test section here. Kind of spread that polish around. We're gonna do a 50 by 50 test section to see. And make sure that the um, combination we believe going into it is gonna work out, is going to work out before we do the, the whole truck. We wanna confirm that this combination for this paint is gonna be excellent. So that's what he's doing now. There's our favorite machine, our kind of two or three favorite machines, and then the rest of the machines we use. We love all these machines. I don't want to put any of these machines down, but at the end of the day, uh, I did want to give you guys my personal opinion, and that's what it is. Let me know. It doesn't mean it's right, by the way, but let me know what you think down below. Are you a detailer? Do you, do you use some of these machines? Uh, an entry-level detailer I hear that is great is the Griot's G9 and G8, the 5-inch and 3-inch machine from Griot's Garage. That's a way cheaper machine and a good entry level machine if you were to ask my question on that. I've never used them, but I know people who do and they love them. And some of them say that um, they're going to continue to use them and not, you know, buy a Rupes because they like it that much. And that's fine. You know, that's great. It's all personal preference. So you guys let me know down below what you think. If you have any questions, drop them down below. I'll do my best to get to them. And what the duck just got here, a.k.a. Hunter, my brother, right. he's about to use the Graftech machine. He's gonna tent the Suburban right here. So, I think we're doing the truck too, aren't we? Doing the full F-250 and, and window 10 as well. Both I mean, IR Kabacha. Big day, big day, big big money right here. He's got all the money. But, uh, but that's gonna be the video, guys. If you have any questions, drop them down below. We're gonna get to work knocking this thing out and we'll see you guys in the next video, which should be on uh, detailing as well. I got another video I'm working on right now. So we'll see you in the next one. Peace.